Hi everyone, Christos here with Better FBI. Now you've probably heard me say something like this in the past. Visualizations are great for helping you find answers, but sometimes their best purpose is to help you refine your question. And in today's episode, we're going to do just that. We're going to build something in Power BI that will help you refine your question. Here's the main purpose. We want to understand where our consumers are. We have their zip codes. We want to understand if we make a change, add a structure, remove a structure, how many of our customers, our consumers, will be impacted by this. So before we go to the computer, I want to thank you all for, for watching my videos. If you don't mind hitting like and subscribe down below, I would greatly appreciate that. If you have any comments, please put those in there. If you have any ideas for anything in the future, I'd love to hear what you have to say. So again, my name is Christos. This is Better at BI, and let's go to the tape. Okay, everyone, this is Christos with Better at BI. And like the introduction said, um, we, the business question, that was initially proposed to me while I was working was my organization is trying to understand how many patients from a particular radius come into a medical facility for a certain type of treatment. Now that's healthcare data. I can't show you any of that, although we did some really cool stuff with that. So what I decided to do for this demo is do a couple things. First, I grabbed age and sex data from data.census.gov. Now it's a whole bunch of data, right? And I cleaned it up a lot and I'll show you something in a second. The second thing I did, if you watch my PBIF episode, you'll see that this, this site, the National Bureau of Economic Research, you'll see here, these folks did something really cool. First, they associated each zip code with a latitude and a longitude. That's awesome. And I'll show you why that's awesome in a second. Second, they looked at data from these years 2016 is the most recent year and then they provided a relationship a radius if you will of 100 miles 500 or infinity I'm, I'm choosing 100 miles they have a csv file that lists every north american every us i believe zip code with proximity to every other zip code within 100 miles okay um, that is, this one's 500 and this one's infinity. Um, so let's go to Power BI for a second. So let's go to the links for just one second here. Okay. So here's the latitude and longitude file. Okay. I am connecting this zip code to the to that uh, 100 mile radius file, right? And I'm connecting the zip code from the Latin long to the destination zip code o okay over here and I'll, I'll explain that in a second and then over here I am also joining oh bear with me for a second it's spinning I'm joining the census data because that has a zip code that's associated with it I'm joining the census data to this distance zip code as well and I'm doing that by the destination zip code. So the whole purpose here is, I'm gonna hit cancel. The whole purpose here is to look at the radius around, you know, around my source, okay? And, and bear with me for one second. I'm gonna show you some other things that I had to do here. I needed to convert, I needed to pad my data just a little bit, my, my zip code data. So I created, oh, I used a calculation here I'll just go right to this field here I want to show you how awesome Power BI is so first of all I'm gonna click here I can tell Power BI this field is a postal code so we will automatically use it in a map once I put it in there but I've also used this calculation here so I'm kind of only pulling in like the like the last five digits and I'm padding it to make sure that it's always five digits so the so it's it starts with zero if there's only three like here's 601 of course should be zero zero six oh one all right so let's go to this table real quick so what we're looking at here is the um we're, we're looking at a map so again let's pretend that um i'm gonna make that wide open for just one second here 
So let's pretend that 45248 is my source zip code. That's where I am thinking I might want to put a hospital. All right, make that a little wider for just a second. Now, that again, we're just going to start with that number. Now, one of the drawbacks that I, I've seen with Power BI and Tableau is I'm not, when I hit that as a source, it leaves it blank. So that little white spot right there, th that's where I'm going to pretend I want to build some sort of healthcare facility, some sort of clinic. Now, if I go here under centerish distance and I want to look for folks within, let's say, 22 miles, in this case, you know, young men and women, patients within 22 miles, I'm going to slide this down. So it's thinking. Um, I actually, forgive me, I have it highlighted for just a second there. So it's churning through all the data. So all the blue represents the, you know, 22 miles radius around that zip code, okay? And it looks like, look, according to the Census Bureau, we got a lot of young men, young men and young women who, um, who live in this area. So back to the real life example. We already have a facility down here somewhere in real life. My current customer is looking at building something up north. So let's turn this around for a second. I know in the greater Cincinnati area, right here between Hamilton and Mason, Right here where it says 129, there is a pediatric hospital right there. So if I'm the business owner, if I'm the business person, I, I don't want to include all of these patients because they're probably just going to go to the one up north. I want to know how many of these folks we're going to capture. So in this real life example, I was given a request to exclude people from a certain place and down. So what I did, what I did then, I'm going to do now is I'm going to look at, I went to Google Maps and I just dropped a pin. So let me zoom out for just one second. That area that I pointed out between Hamilton and, and Mason, this, this intersection, this is where that, that hospital is. So we don't want anybody right from above this intersection here. This is the major, major artery. So we don't want anybody from above this intersection because we know that whoever lives above here is going to go, they're going to go to this hospital, right? So we want to see if we can collect everybody from here down. So we know that that uh, latitude is 39.29. So let's go back to Power BI. So um, 39.29. So let's type in 32.29 and hit enter here. Now watch what happens on the blue right over here. You're going to see as when it's done churning through all these rows of data. Um, oh, I must have done it again. Bear with me for just one second. 39.29. Forgive me. It's been a long day. Um, 30, 39.29. Now I hit enter. So now it's gonna it's it's gonna churn through all this census data again, and now look, you noticed how it dropped. Now it did kind of it it bounces a little bit above there. It's not necessarily perfect because, uh, after all, it's zip codes, right? So I'm kind of comparing the zip code and that that 39. Yeah, I'm I'm, it's not perfect. So using that free data from the census and from that national business resource. Uh, that org website using that data and this information and Google Maps I have quickly been I can quickly show you um, a pretty good representation of in this case young men and women who may go to a, a new healthcare facility in this little white spot that live within a 22 mile radius so let's break it out to 100 miles here just to see according to u.s census bureau there are approximately 278,000 girls between 0 and 19 who live beneath this particular latitude that may be interested in going to this facility and if you really want to get a breakdown you can see here how i've broken down all these little measures by the zip code. So if I click on this zip code, does anything happen here? 
Oh, I must not have had that filter set up here. And we can do that. But if I wanted to, now that's in Kentucky. So now I can also get this. So I can say, so 32.29 is up here. Let's go back to Google Maps for just one second. And let's say, um, let's drop a pin right here. What is that? That is 39.08. So I want everyone between um, 39, 39.0, 39.0, nine let's just do that i only want to catch people that would be above kentucky but below here so it's going to spin around for just a second and again that's not perfect um our zip codes aren't symmetrical um and this is census data um you and your organization may have more accurate data so look Look at this. I'm grabbing everybody that is, for the most part, in the state of Ohio or a little bit in, Indi in Indiana who might want to drive to this location, right? So it was 120,000 kids. So that's not including northern Kentucky, right? Um, I mean, there may be some issues with that, but this is more just to demonstrate the potential of this. So again, being able to choose a source zip code being able to choose a latitude and a longitude and being able to display that and provide some sort of metrics like I'm doing here can be an incredibly powerful way for someone to understand what their customer base is like. And if you reverse it, instead of looking at how many customers come to you, you could be looking at how, how long, how far you have to go, especially given the cost of gas these days and some other stuff. So, I think this is a really cool thing. Um, I'm demonstrating this in Power BI, of course, but you can do this in Tableau or in some other tools. Um, but this is really cool. So um, thanks for taking the time to watch this video. I really do appreciate it. Um, if you like this or you'd like to see more, go ahead and hit um, like and subscribe. And if you have any comments or questions, I'd love to hear them. I'd love to get your input on any new ideas. So again, my name is Christos. This is Better at BI. My job is to help you be better at BI.